Alright guys, in today's video, I decided to make a Roblox game using only one line of code, and I'm not gonna lie, it turned out really well in the end. So make sure you stick around for this whole video, because you're not gonna want to miss a minute of it. So I started off this challenge by creating a sign that was going to display the player's best time and their previous time in completing the challenge. What made things a bit more tedious was that my keyboard decided to break before recording this and I can't duplicate correctly on this computer. Nonetheless, it ended up working just fine, and I was able to create a leaderboard thing for the player's best time and last time. Next, I got to work modeling a gun because I had decided this was going to be a shooter zombie apocalypse style game. And let me tell you right now, I spent so much time modeling this gun. Like, I was convinced this had to be the most impressive gun ever seen on the Roblox platform. And just like that, my gun model was finished. Finishing this creation, I decided to add a hinge to the side of the gun to make sure I knew which side we needed to shoot the bullets out of. This doesn't count as the line of code because it was just a little line that was put into the command bar to make sure I could have a hinge on the side of the gun. And while this only took a little bit of time to figure out, I finally figured out that the left side of the gun was actually the front, so I was going to need to shoot a ray out of the left side using C-frame. After that, it was time to convert my model into an actual tool, make sure the grip is good and all that good stuff. And after that, it was finally time to start scripting the one line of code for this video. I began by just making sure that I could use the activated function inside of a script instead of a local script, which I was able to, but you know, it's always good to double check. After that, I made a ray that shot out of the left side of the gun. Remember, the left side is the way it was facing. This didn't take too long, and before I knew it, I had a working raycast script that could detect when I had hit a part. After that, I decided to check if what we hit was a character by looking for a humanoid, and if so, we were going to go ahead and do some damage. Next, I quickly inserted a zombie model, and don't worry, I removed all the scripts from it to make sure this is still a one-line script game. After that, I decided to give it a test, and I realized the zombies were a bit too short for the rate to hit them. So I did what any person would do, and I scaled the zombies way up, and I made them huge zombies, and after that, it worked just fine. After that, it was time to start scripting the round. This by far took the longest time to put into one line of code, but basically what I did is I put a while loop in the script, as well as a repeat loop, and I constantly checked to see if there were any more zombies alive. I also kept track of their time using that repeat loop by waiting every second and adding one to a timer. After that, I would check every second, and if there was a zombie, I would add one to this variable called kill count. Once the kill count had reached 10, so we had killed all 10 zombies, I knew that we won the game, and it's time to start over again and break out of that repeat loop. Finished all the scripting for this, and uh, let's see if this works. Uh, so they are they have all spawned in a row, but uh, this timer... Oh, we have some bugs. <laughs> Last time equals infinite. All right, I'm going to keep scripting and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I got right back to the scripting and made sure that the zombies could actually spawn in random parts of the map and not just spawn in a line like they were already doing. And just like that, the game was actually working, but there was one thing I really wanted to add, and that was I wanted the zombies to be able to move around the map and start walking instead of just standing still. And that's exactly what I started to work on next. And for that, I literally wrote a whole function inside of still one line of code. This function basically took a zombie and said, hey, let's move that zombie. Let's use the move to function that's built into the humanoid and make it walk to a random part in the map. This was a quick and easy way to make sure that I could walk and once finished, call that walk function once again. And just like that, I had finished up the whole script and it was time to do the final test. All right, so theoretically this should Get the zombies moving. Oh, look at that. Dude, they're actually moving. Look at that. They're moving all over the places. <laughs> okay, this is actually awesome. This worked first time, so this is pretty nice. Let me go ahead and kill one of them and see what happens. Okay, you're gonna die. Perfect. <laughs> it works perfectly. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna make them be able to walk a little farther. Uh, because they're currently, like, just in this little area. Or I could just bring all... I think I'm gonna bring this stuff over there. That could be better. So I'm gonna bring that there. I'm gonna put that there, and I can delete that. And, uh, let's test this one more time, but this is working so well already. Let's see. Okay. Boom. There <laughs> There are a ton of gigantic zombies just walking around right now. This is crazy, bro. 
Okay, uh, killed one of them. I'm gonna kill this guy. Come on, come on. Okay, so this is working fine. And as you can see, the timer's going. One more, one more. Get over here. Get over here. Okay. Let's see. What was my best time? 50 seconds, and let's go. Our timer restarted. So that is it. We have officially created a game in one line of code this this entire script is inside of this tool this would be a one person game so this entire game uh runs off of one line of code so there you go that just proves that you can do anything with scripting honestly also if you want to check out this game for yourself i'll leave the link to go play it down in the description uh if you would like to try out making a game in one line of code go for it i'd say like yeah just go for it but uh I would also say that it is not an efficient way to do it. Uh, this was definitely very difficult um, to try and figure out where, especially if you're a beginner, it was difficult to figure out like where all of the uh, ends go to make sure that no errors happen. And it's just kind of a lot to look at something like this, you know? It's uh, a lot nicer <laughs> when, it's, when it's formatted correctly, but you know, there you go. It's possible, 100% possible. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was super fun to make. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you'd smash that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more uh, challenge content like this, let me know. I'd love to do more of these videos. And uh, huge shout out to my Patreons up on the screen right now. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.